Chairman Jordan, yeah. Ranking Member Plaskett, I think it's important that we recognize this hearing for what it actually is. Make no mistake, this hearing is a vehicle to legitimize the events of January 6th and the people who perpetrated it, and why? Because Donald Trump is running for president again. And if you normalize the events of January 6th, if you repeat his election fraud lies, then maybe he doesn't seem quite so extreme. Maybe it will be easier to overturn a free and fair election the next time. For those of you who have forgotten, on January 6th, a mob of people who believed Donald Trump's lie that the 2020 election was stolen, stormed the Capitol, seeking to stop the certification of the 2020 presidential election. They erected a gallows on the lawn just outside this room, and they ran through the halls looking to find and hang the Vice President of the United States. It was a shocking moment of political violence, and many of us on this dais, including myself, were there that day. We all felt the fear of knowing that there were people roaming the Capitol looking to kill us. But clearly, some of us have quickly forgotten that. I've heard my colleagues on the other side of the aisle suggest that, quote, the FBI was participating in the insurrection. They called the rioters who attacked the Capitol, quote, unquote, peaceful patriots and, quote, unquote, political prisoners. And they described the violence on January 6th as akin to a quote-unquote normal tourist visit. It was not. Last year, the Judiciary Committee even had to entertain a resolution on the repeatedly discredited Ray Earp's conspiracy theory. Mr. Allen, your security clearance was first suspended on January 10th, 2022. Is that correct? Yes or no will suffice. And the FBI's reason behind your suspension was because it found, it found you to have, quote, espoused conspiratorial views both orally in writing and promoted unreliable information which indicates support for the events of January 6th. Is that correct, yes or no? That is the language that they placed on the letter. That's a yes, then. Do you believe it's important for federal agents to have allegiance to the United States, yes or no? It is absolutely important that personnel I'll take for the that as a yes. have allegiance to the United Do you believe States? you should have allegiance to the United States to possess a security clearance, yes or no? Absolutely. Do you believe your obligation as a federal agent should supersede your First Amendment right, yes or no? Can you please rephrase the question, ma'am? Do you believe that your obligation as a federal agent should supersede your First Amendment right, yes or no? I don't know. Can you please rephrase the question again, ma'am? Do you believe that you have an obligation to serve as a federal agent regardless of what your personal political beliefs are? Yes, I have Thank an obligation you. to Thank serve you. the United States. Do you States believe that FBI agents should be permitted to express support for individuals who stormed the Capitol on January 6th? Yes or no? I believe agents have to do their jobs, ma'am. Do you believe that agents should be permitted to express their support for individuals who stormed the Capitol on January 6th? Yes or no? It's a simple question. No, you're supposed to be apolitical, ma'am, and do your job so as that an is FBI a no? person. You're supposed to be apolitical and do your job. I'm asking as... for a simple yes or no. Can you please Not a difficult question. question. Do you believe that FBI agents should be permitted to express support for individuals who stormed the Capitol on January 6th? You should not be voicing support for criminal conduct. You okay, have to thank do your you. Job apolitically, ma'am. Thank you. Mr. Allen, have you ever used Twitter, yes or no? I have utilized Twitter, yes. Ma okay, and is your account at Marcus A97050645? That is absolutely not my account. Okay, that's not your account. Well, on December 5th, 2022, an account under the name Marcus Allen retweeted a tweet that said, That quote, is not my account, ma'am. You haven't let me finish the question, you sir. You might have been the football player. You haven't let me finish the question. On Dece and the time is mine. On December 5th, 2022, an account under the name of Marcus Allen retweeted a tweet that said, quote, Nancy Pelosi staged January 6th Retweet if you agree, end quote. Do you agree with that statement? Yes or no? That, that is, I don't, no ma'am. That's not you, my account at all. I have I'm no I'm asking idea. whether you agree with 
that statement, yes or no? Can you please rephrase the statement? Yeah. I'm the gentlelady. Do you think I'm the that Nancy has Pelosi expired. staged January 6th? I just want him to answer he'll answer. He'll answer. Question. Yeah, he'll answer. I'm just telling you your time's up. Do you believe that Nancy Pelosi, do you agree with the statement that this person tweeted that Nancy Pelosi staged January 6th? I, yes I or don't. no? No. Thank you. I yield back. Chair, recognize.